So when you're looking for return grills, um, and the units have been going to be right behind it. In this boat, there's a 16,000 BTU, and we've got a 10 by 14 there, which is 140 square inches. Now, we look at some boats, and there are no filters actually on the return. And that that filter there is behind behind that grill is a filter that should be your primary. It's easy to get to. Sometimes the units are absolutely buried where you can't even get to them. So you can just take those two screws out which we'll do next and uh, you can pull that off and you'll be able to see if the, if the unit screen is, is dirty or clean. And that is pretty clean and how you can really look at them is hold them up to the light so the light's shining through. That's how you know it's good and clean. Um, so this is the primary. And like I said, a lot of boats we see will not have a filter on this. That's very important. And this and the secondary filter is right there on the face unit, which also looks very nice and clean. So we can go ahead and put this back on. go that's basically you know maintenance in your return filter if these things get clogged up it basically the, the air is getting sucked through that into the unit and basically is thawing out the coil so if this thing is clogged it'll cause the unit to freeze up because it's not getting enough air and throw your unit into a coat It's typically when we put air conditioning in the boat, especially two different units. We have one 30 amp of short power just for the AC and one for the house plug. So the first thing is to plug in the AC cord. Basically, make sure this through hole is on. It's on. So then this sea stream will fill with water and the pump will be able to just pump it right up. So we have water. Next thing is power. It's gonna be some kind of a breaker panel for the units, which is there. and the display will be illuminated. So there we have power. In reference to the power part of the unit, if your screen is illuminated here, you've got power going to the unit, absolutely. So that eliminates any of your issues with possibly having power. You know, in this particular Mariner unit, we've got the mode button. So, teardrop. Blinking, humidity, auto, the sun is there for heat. And the snowflake, maybe kind of hard to see on the screen, but the snowflake is the cooling mode. And below the water line, there's a basically Gratco strainer um, that's part of the circulatory system and that's what we're going to take a look at now. Okay so the Gratco 750 strainer looks sort of like that. It's got these series of fins and as you can imagine that can get clogged up and on the other side of that is going to be the the valve strainer basket pump, etc., going to the air conditioning unit. Okay, so now we're just gonna go out and make sure it's pumping water on the outbound side. You know, we've got water going to the pump, the strainer, 
And there we've got a nice steady flow. So you want a nice steady flow from that Isolan unit. And we got two units on this boat, 16 and a 9,000. And the F unit has a nice steady stream of water. So the three components, power, water, and electric. Um, water is definitely looking good. So I came up with this really cool way of, you know, putting air or, re or your antifreeze uh, through the system. Base took a Graco cap, a spare cap, and adapted it with a 5 8 barbed fitting. So then all we do is shut the through hole valve. That's shut. Open up your strainer basket. Gotta be really careful with these, these don't get cross threaded, so do spin them, you know, backwards. Watch your twist. Spin that on there. Now again, this is the same exact cap as this. I just picked up a spare, kind of customized that fitting on there. And then, just take a, a spare piece of hose. I got here. It's five. It's who's the same as the rest of the air conditioning stuff. Just shove that on the barb fitting. And now you're not down on your hands and knees. You got the hose up here that you can pour into, and you could imagine putting a funnel on that. You could just, you know, dump in your gallons of antifreeze. What I prefer to do is I made this custom fitting that goes from a Schrader valve, which is basically a valve stem, to a barbed fitting. And I can show you kind of, you just shove that in there. Now, you can just take that cap off here and hit it with about 80 pounds of air pressure and it'll literally blow the water out of the strainer basket, out of the pump, and out of both lines to go um, out the outbound through walls. So that's my little trick of winterizing air conditioning.